Hey there, crafty friends. It's Hannah at the Doodlebug and Jasper, Indiana. And boy, do I have a what's new for you today. I hope you guys are ready to rock and roll because, oh my gosh, I have three great orders for you. Now, usually I'm very excited at least about one of the orders, really excited, but today we have three great, great orders. So we've got Catherine Pooler. Catherine Pooler came out with some of the most beautiful metallic inks. I've got them. I've got samples, so I'm going to stamp them. I've got samples of them stamped to show you. We're going to talk a little bit about Catherine Pooler inks and what makes them a little bit different from some of the other inks out there. And I got a little crazy and a little carried away when I was ordering some of her stamps as well, too. I don't carry a lot of her stamps. And she had a really cute one that kind of popped up. And I'm like, hmm, I'm just going to search for sentiments. And they have some great sentiment stamps. So I, um, I loaded up on those for you guys. So we've got lots of great sentiment stamps to show you. Then we also got an order from our Canadian warehouse. And that is one I order from them every couple months because it's a little bit of a longer process time. Shipping's a little bit higher as well too. Um, but in that order is the Lisa Horton inks. Oh, I've played with one of those too. Um, so they are, most of them are a special order. And I have not had them before, was not sure how they were going to go. And Miss Becky was super, super sweet and said I could open up one and kind of play with it. And I kind of did. And I kind of love it. So cannot wait to show you that. And then we also got in, um, that is also who I get some of my page toppers from. The little 3D toppers that you guys really, really like. Um, uh, layering. And they started carrying a new company called Katie Sue. So I've got Katie Sue in here for you. And then finally, oh, grand finale, 49 and Market. The brand new line is here as well. So get ready. Um, I thought this was going to be a quick one today until that order showed up. So cannot wait to show you the new goods. So I'm going to flip this camera right around so we can get started. Start asking questions. Um, start your list. There is some amazing stuff you guys are going to see today. First off, we got just a few little reorders in as well that I'm going to show you guys. So in our little organization section, I always like to keep some boxes in. These boxes are great just for storing some of your oversized stuff. They are also great for a clutter keeper. You know what I'm talking about. When company comes over and your room has to look good, you know, you throw it all into a box for later. I do that a lot. And it might as well be a cute box that they can't see on the inside. So um, great little box here. It is seven and a half by 11. This fits... Um, photos as well so that would be a good little thing to store in there too so got a cute little box in a few other things this is also great for holding your photos it will hold up to photos five by seven which is so nice I know a lot of the ones that I have will only hold my four by sixes not my five by sevens but this can also be a great little pen and pencil holder as well too got that back in stock and then our little storage towers are back in stock as well. So this one comes on, it, it has a little handle here. And then all these slide down on top of that handle. And each of these has little compartments. You've got one, two, three, four, five compartments per each little clamshell. This is going to be perfect for your diamond dots. This is going to be perfect for all those loose little rhinestones that you've got all those little shaker card shakers that you got. This is gonna be perfect for that. You can arrange them by what they are. You can arrange them like a rainbow, so you can Roy G. Biv them. Great way to keep them all together. And then what I would suggest is if you're gonna be going to a crop and you're gonna be traveling, maybe just stick like a pencil or a pin through here to keep it from wanting to pop off the top in case it would fall over in your car. So that is here. Then 49 and Market, like I said, we've got an order in. So one thing we were low on are their Foundations Essentials binder. So this is one that's kind of like one of the Simple Stories binders. It's got, as you can see, it's got the ring in there. I meant to get it open for you guys and I took the plastic off, but that was it. All right, what's on the inside of these? all kinds of great stuff so this in true 49 fast 49 in market fashion has all kinds of great little pages that flip i can keep it open that flip 
and fold all kinds of bells and whistles with these little guys. So there's a couple of the interactive ones. Sorry, you know, I'm the one-handed wonder here. Here's another just great page, page. Look at all these great dividers you get in here as well. Great dividers, great dividers, and it even comes with page protectors and a little envelope in the back for memorabilia. You could even use it as a little working envelope, store some items in it while you're still working on the album, some of your bits and pieces. So that is back in stock. One thing from the vault here, so this was a little stamp set that when it came in, it was missing that little gnome right there. Normally, it is a $15 stamp set with that one gnome missing. He's going to be on sale for $10.99. And this one is called do, 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 Gnome Fishing. So we've got that little guy there. Then we got some fun little ink pads in from our Canadian distributor. I do believe these are special ordered, but we can put more on the next one. These are just simple little water-based ink pads. This is the Purples Collection. And then we got in the brown collection. So that's a little reorder there. And now let's get ready for Catherine Pooler. All right. So first up in this first row, what I've got for you is all the colors that are new for us. All right. Some of these were just released today. And then some of these were on a very recent previous release. And we had not gotten them in yet. So we're going to start with these. So we've got with an olive on the lake and cotton candy. So those are her three newest colors that she did. We've got the ink pads and also a couple re-inkers in as well. And like I said, those are brand new for us. We have not had those in before and I did stamp them. And I wanna show you, look how great, if I put you in camera, in frame here, look how great of a job they do matching the labels to the ink color. I mean, that in itself, I think, is kind of a big deal. Most companies, I mean, there's like, I'm like, eh, it's kind of close. Look at that. That is crazy right on the money. I'm very impressed with that. And then next up, we've got the metallics. And it would have helped if I would have put them in the order I stamped them. So let me do it this way. Let me just switch that up real quick. Nope, gotta do it the other way. She's Hannah Marie. So silver needs to come down here. Champagne goes up. Excuse me while I just do a little. Okay, so then we've got our metallics. Can you see the shimmer on those? Look how good they are. All right, so what I did is kind of a, I had a brand new stamp, first of all, that I was using. And you can see as I was stamping, it got better and better. Notice that first one. That is a brand new unseasoned stamp. Ink kind of wants to pull up on it. I did not take the time to put my eraser to it or anything, but the more I stamped, the better and better it got. So keep that in mind whenever you're playing with a brand new stamp set. Um, stamp a few things for practice first, okay? You're gonna get better results that way. I often like to go over it with a white eraser as well too. I did not follow my own hints or techniques or tips today for whatever reason, because um, I was just trying to get these done so we could show you all the goodness. But then we've got silver, we've got gold, and look at that champagne. Is that not beautiful? So there it is on white. And then here we are on black. So, so pretty. So that is the new ones. Now, like I said, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, how Catherine Pooler inks are just a little bit different. Now, first of all, should backtrack. These are completely different because they are a pigment ink, okay? The other ones are a dye ink, but a pigment ink is going to be much juicier, okay? A pigment ink is also going to want to smear really easily while it's still wet. So if you're needing to move on right away, you need to have your heat tool out and then that way you can heat set it. Pigment inks, you can also emboss with them too, which is really, really cool. So you can emboss with silver on top of silver and get a really deep, deep embossed image. Or you can just go over the top with clear as well too. 
So just some little tips and techniques with those. And sometimes I putting the embossing powder on top. I mean, that's going to seal it and it's going to be dry I mean, right away because you put the embossing powder on it. So that's another great, great way to kind of seal that ink in as well. And again, we've got the silver, gold, and champagne. And we've got re-inkers for those. Oh, and we have your little side labels for those as well, too. I got those in, too. All right, so with their regular line of inks, okay, like with the olive here, with an olive, I'm going to open it up. First of all, I want you to notice that the ink pads, they're a sponge ink pad. It's not a felt ink pad like we are used to. So because of that, you do not need to kill the pad whenever you are picking up ink. Just a few little taps. And I know I'm doing this one-handed, so you can see I got a little bit right there because I was having a hard time keeping it straight. So anyway, just a couple little taps. And like I said, this is a really new stamp set yet. And then you're just going to stamp down lightly. Okay. And let it kind of hang there a minute and with a new stamp pad what is great about your misties is that you can go back and stamp again or you can just line it up with your clear block and hope that you didn't over ink looks pretty good and like i said this one here is a brand new stamp and i've only stamped it a few times on these and I'm going to wash it off there real quick while I'm thinking of it. Okay, so that is just a little bit about the Catherine Pooler inks. What makes them a little bit different? They're not a felt pad, so they are a lot juicier. And because of that, I, I really love the colors in them. And you don't have to kill it whenever you're stamping. These blend beautifully. Um, they're a premium dye ink, so you can do the water techniques with these as well, too. So these are the new colors, and again, new for us, um, very new for Catherine Pooler, with an olive on the lake, cotton candy, and then brand, brand new, just released today, silver, gold, and champagne. And Stephanie would like the silver and the gold. You got it. Starting my pile. Thank you, friend. Then a few colors that we restocked. As you can see, I was looking at Christmas colors here. So cranberry fizz, peppermint scrub. And Merlot, those are going to be great for your Christmas cards, winter berries, things like that. Also got in Serenade, Dress Blues, those, oh, Cumberbund, and these are mine. And then for our greens, I couldn't decide, as you can see, Sage, Spruce, Eucalyptus, and then just some good basic greens, grass skirt, lime ricky, another great one for Christmas, deck the halls, and then their black. Their black is a premium archival ink, so you can use this with your watercolor pencils, um, your water-based markers, and your alcohol ink-based markers too. They do say to be on the safe side, you may want to heat set it just to be, you know, just to be safe. Um, but a lot of times, if I let it set a little bit, it does just fine. Dress blues as well. You've got it. Now, for some of those stamps that we got in. I love this one for creating my color shade families, but also for doing swatches and keeping track of what colors I have in my stash. So this is called Color Swatch. This one here is called Made from Scratch. It's got this great doily, homemade from the heart, a little something for you, made by Everything's Nicer When Made from Scratch. So this would be cute on your cards, your handmade gifts, and also baked goods. Next up, this one is called Tie the Knot Sentiments. Yay for cake, you tied the knot. Please seat me at the cool table. Happy wedding and congratulations. Oh, and congratulations on that wedding thing too. You're engaged, going to the chapel. Congratulations, happily ever after. And, and you're gonna get married. Super cute little set for doing some wedding engagement cards. Next up, this one here is called Round About Messages. So this one's really, really neat. And their samples were super, super cool too. So let's say you were doing this doily. 
and look, then you could do a rounded image underneath it. So isn't that fun? Um, I know sometimes we'll try and manipulate our stamp to do that, but I thought this was super, super cool. Um, they even had some under straight things. They had one under a rainbow that looked really cute, but we've got a little row of hearts, had the best birthday, you make my world nicer, excited for your news, some stars. How did I get so lucky? Love being with you. So glad to call you friend. Um, been missing you. Sorry, things have been rough. You've got this. And then all these great little good luck. Feel better. Congrats. Thanks. Go you friend. Love. Hooray. Again, this one here is called Roundabout Messages. Then we've got Give Thanks Sentiments. Be thankful always. Feeling grateful. Warm harvest blessings. Hello, autumn. Happy fall, y'all. Um, give thanks. This one is called Everybody Say Happy Sentiments. Hooray for your birthday. Toss some confetti in the air and celebrate. Everybody say happy. Um, you are my favorite reason to party. Uh, happy birthday. Today should be covered in glitter. That's cute. Better belated than never. And I do really like the font on this one as well. This next one is called Little Something. Happy birthday. You deserve the best. Got you a little something. Spoil, spoil yourself. I hope you love it. Today is about you. XOX. This one here is called Inside Out Missing You. So we've got a nice little size missing you. And then don't stay away too long. Not a day goes by that I don't think of you. I can't wait to hear about your new adventure. Even though we're far apart, you'll always be near in my heart. I'm going to miss you around here. Today wasn't the same but without you and bon voyage. Happy birthday, many ways. So you've got all kinds of great fonts with happy birthday. But you've also got wishing you a and to you. But look at all those great fonts in that one. And again, that's happy birthday, many ways. Happy birthday, many ways for Miss Sharon. You've got it. Next up, we've got, this one is called Age to Perfection. You just got cooler with age. I choose you every time. I love that one. I mean, that can be for so many great little things. Um, let's become antiques together. Happy anniversary. Thanks for doing the same all. You're not old. You're, we're, vint we're not old. We're vintage. I love you today and still when you're old and gray. Oh, that's so cute. So good little set there. Again, that's called Age to Perfection. Inside Out Birthday is next. So you've got this great happy birthday. And then you've got the insides. You deserve the best of everything because you give the best to everyone. I hope your day is full of surprises and all the delights you deserve. Here's to celebrating the, the birth of one of my favorite people. And then finally, wishing you a special day and a year full of love. So that's a great set there too. And we're not done yet. I told you I got a little carried away. This one here I thought is awesome. We have so many people that come in wanting like 50th anniversary, 40th birthday, and it's just too hard to get that. So I thought this one is great because it's got 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90 right there. You've got the numbers, the STs, the RDs, um, happy birthday, cheers to fantastic. Um, so you could do 30 years, 50 years, 50 years fabulous, 50 years young. Um, so great little set here. And again, it's called Milestone Birthday Sentiment Mix. This one here is called Nice Things to Say. You are just plain wonderful. I'm so blessed to call you a friend. Time with you is time well spent. Thanks for coming through. So excited to celebrate. I knew you could do it. Love you, bestie. Can't wait to hear the latest. So lots of great little sentiments in that one. The sympathy set. Now we've had this one before. It's not a brand new one to us, but we were out of this one. It's inside out sympathy. So the outside with sympathy and then some of your insides. May you find peace in your heart and healing in your soul. Sometimes there are no words. With deepest sympathy, our thoughts and prayers are with you and your family. Words cannot express how sorry I am to hear about your loss. So just a great little sympathy set there. 
And then a new one that just released today is called One of a Kind. And it is a beautiful snowflake stamp set. And it's going to look beautiful with those new metallic inks. So the little teasers they were doing with these were all with the little metallic inks too, or stamp with them. And it does have a die set to match it. So again, one of a kind and the one of a kind die set. And that is Catherine Pooler. And then we're going to jump into our Canadian distributor here. So first we're going to start with Katie Sue. Katie Sue is the layered cards. And so hers are just a little bit different because she has um, like a great starter base for you that you can do as your card. And if you do smaller cards, you can always cut them down to your A2 size. But so here's layer number one. And then layer number two is all this fun detail to put on top. And then you've got three, four, and so on and so forth. So you've got this great layered one here. And you've got one, two, three, and a pack on these. So Katie Sue, we've got the snow couple with a violin. You sure can get one each of the new Katie Sue's. This next one is called Santa and Car. So that's what you're going to be creating. And look at all these fun little detailed layers that are going to go on there. And I love it. Like here, place layer 2A before layer 2. I mean, they think of all that great stuff. So Santa and Car. Now, not to be confused with Santa's car. So if you are ordering these and you only want one or the other, make sure you kind of differing, differentiate. Or you can just say, hey, I want both the Santas with the cars. But this one is called Santa's car. So you can see there it is. And then all the great little layers here. How fun is that? You've even got a little smaller one, it looks like, that you can do as a bonus. Very fun. Then we've got Primrose Wheelbarrow. That one is beautiful. So that's what it's going to make. Then all your great layers. Poppies in a vase. I like that this one even has verbiage that comes with it too. And then our last one for this order, there will be more and some were already sold out too. And this one's called Filled with Flowers. So pretty. So pretty. Next up, we have got a, I'm pretty sure this one came in as a special order. I need to look and see. This one is called Dear Santa from Chow Bella. What you got? Do you have any cartridges for an older cricket? No. no. Nope. They don't make those anymore. Yep. Yeah, they don't even make them. So this one here is called Dear Santa. Dear Santa has an 8x8 eight eight pad. It's got a creative A4 pad, and then it's also got a 12 by 12 pad as well. Such a pretty, pretty set. Kind of go through the papers down here. I'm like 95% sure that someone special requested this one. But that does not mean that I cannot reorder because you know I love to place that reorder. It gives me an excuse to pick out more goodies. A couple other things. These are ones we've had before, so they are restocked. And I think they are finally back in stock to where a few of you may have even been on the order from last time. This one here is called Christmas Snowmen. Again, it's these great little 3D toppers. These are the ones that have a little bit of glitter to them and they come in their own little individual bags. So Christmas, or sorry, Christmas Snowmen. And then these were confusing on the last order because they're super, super close in names. This one is Blue and Violet Flowers, number 13516. This one here is Flowers Blue slash Violet. Yes, look, so confusing. But this number is 9838. Eight. Super, super great on both of them. 
So again, this one here is blue and violet flowers. And then this one is flowers blue slash violet. Could I make it any more confusing? Next up, we got this cutest little Halloween gnomes stack here. And it, oh, let me just flip through here. So these are great just the way they are. That can be a card front, a little page accent, but you can also, if you like to fussy cut, you can fussy cut these guys as well. So let me flip through because you get more than one of each. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So definitely ones that you can fussy cut, but look how stinking cute they are. <laughs> I just love them. They're printed on um, not a crazy heavyweight paper. They've got a little bit of a slickness to them. So if you're wanting to know what kind of the print quality is, the print quality is great, but just so you know, it's not like 120 pounds or anything like that. Oh my God, look at that little Franken gnome. Oh, I love him. <laughs> These are so cute. So stinking cute. All right, so that is the... Halloween Gnomes Little Book. Next up, I think these have been literally on back order since May. I kid you not. So these are, um, what is it called here? It doesn't even say. But they are like for creating strips and layers. And they are neat because these have on the sides a little bit of uh, dotted stitching. So whenever it cuts these out, that way you can do all the card strips and different things like that. Um, and you don't have to worry about your trimmer being perfect or not perfect. And it's going to give you a little bit of a dotted edge as well, too. Somebody asked for Christmas, one 3D, you got it. And one each of the new Katie Dids, we will get that as well, too. Katie Sue's not Katie Dids, that's a bug. That's a bug. All right, next up, three-quarter designs. It's just a little petite tag pack but i thought they were really really cute just fun little tags they're not super huge they would be fun on cards as accents if you'd like to do atcs really pretty on those as well too just fun little little tags there then i also got in a collection kit from them that is called um, Vintage Man Collection. So Vintage Man Collection, I'm gonna flip through that. You've got a bonus print on the back and then look at these great guy prints. And then on the bottom, on your little UPC strip, you've got a little quote on all of those. Flip through those. like that brick one. Ooh, another good brick one. Blessed indeed is the man who hears many gentle voices call him father. Oh, that is so sweet. And then you've got some different, ooh, and you can see you don't even have to fussy cut these. Some great little die cut pieces in here. Ooh, these are nice too. Great layers. These you will have to fussy cut, but they're not as intricate by any means. Make some little pockets there. Here's another one, Great, another little punch out page. Some more fussy cut ones. Oh, some great little border strips here too. These are really nice for creating photo mounts. And then the back side here has some great page inspiration. And the back of that is a bonus print. So that one is Vintage Man. Right, and then I also got in from our Canadian distributor. It's called Nature's Nature and Textiles. It is a little vellum pack, printed vellum. Open that one up for you guys. But look how great those are. So those are gonna be fun for cards on your pages tear around this vellum, you know, cut it nice and straight. You can even color on the back to give it some different color and some oomph. 
So you could take your Copic color, your Copic markers, your alcohol-based markers. They will color on vellum. So you can give it a wash of color on the back too, which would be super pretty. So that's Nature and Textiles Vellum Pack. Next up, I thought these were stinking cute. I hope you guys do too. So these are from Hunky Dory. Hunky Dory also does some of the card kits, kind of like the Katie Sue is. But check these out. They're die cut snowmen. Oh, you can't hardly see that. Let me, let me pull it up here. Look, it's super long because then it makes the whole whole snowman. And then you fold it, and it's a perfectly fun die cut snowman card. Are those not adorable? And it even comes with envelopes. Look at that. There's five in a pack. And you can create some fun little snowmen. So these would be really fun for grown-up crafters. But think of all your younger crafters, too, how much fun they would have decorating these snowmen. So, so fun. Honestly, I'm an older crafter. I would love to decorate these. But I think, again, like I said, these would be really fun for our younger crafters as well, too. They can get creative with them. But super, super cute. You've got your five cards die cut cards and envelopes in there. Um, let's see here. Let's jump into next. We've got 49 and market. Whew, so much still to go yet, guys. All right, first of all, I'm gonna put these here. I've got a big pile going on. Shoot. Now let me move these and I'm gonna move these real quick. Hold on. Okay. All right, first off, this brand new line is called Vintage Artistry Moonlit Garden. I will tell you, it is a great, very neutral color line. Um, it could definitely go for a little bit more of a masculine look, but as I go through it, I want you to be thinking also wedding, anniversary, engagement pictures. This is a stunning, stunning line. So in the collection kit, as usual, you've got that bonus on the back and then here are your papers I mean this has got a lot of grays in it um, grayish greens if you guys can kind of see the colors in there it's so so pretty it's got blues as well in it And with, I love that one. Um, with whenever we do our 49 and market, we mainly only do collection kits. Sometimes we will bust a few of them, but we mainly just do the collection kits because you either love it and want it all, or you, you pass on it. One of those things. Look how pretty that one is. But see what I mean? It would just be beautiful as a wedding album because it's very, very neutral. So it's not, oops, there went one of the page kits. It's not gonna compete with the colors of the wedding. So there's the collection kits. Then the ultimate page kit, there's page one, page two, page three, page four, for the ultimate page kit. And remember the ultimate page kits are now with the new releases, they are cheaper than when they first started. So the older ones are 35 and they're well worth 35, but the new ones are only 30 bucks. So you get four great pages for 30 bucks, which is just super awesome. Next up, we're gonna look at the rub-ons. And again, like I was saying, think wedding album, engage in photos, but look, love this more, best ever, oh happy day. Um, with you right now, never forget, dream big dreams, embrace life for today. Such a great set of words, good life, candid photo. You know, even if you don't love the line, this is a great set of title rub-ons. So again, this is the sentiment rub-on sheet. You know, I love these great watercolors, but look, it's got this gray, it's got, um, I don't know which one you, I would call that more of a taupe and a tan. It's got this great blue color in it, but really good neutral tones to it. Nothing, you know, is 
you know, too overpowering. So that was the color wash. And then here is just the regular 12 by 12 rub on sheet. And then we've also got, let's go ahead and jump to the six by eight rub ons. So it looks like in your six by eight rub ons, of course, we're still going to have our six pages. We've got a page of leaves, butterflies, flowers and butterflies, sentiments, kind of a little outline botanicals, and then those fun little mixed media splats. The laser cut elements. You've got four sheets in here, for all your great little laser cuts. And then we also have the wildflowers in this one. I don't think we've had wildflowers. Oh, maybe the spice had some wildflowers. We haven't had wildflowers since Tranquility. So there's the wildflower laser cuts. Chipboard bits and pieces here. Really pretty. Here's the foundations. I definitely recommend if you pick up a collection kit to grab the foundations as well too because those are some pretty unique colors. It's going to be a little bit harder to match those in your regular cardstock. They did the essential file sets in this one. These are really fun in your mini books and on your pages just to tuck in some tags with your journaling, some extra pictures as well too. See those on the back there. Oh. I think I say this all the time, but I, this may be one of my favorite film strip packs. Um, just look at those great colors in there to where the, this is going to have a lot of crossover and other lines. It's just these great, soft, neutral tones. So there's the film strip frames. Cluster kit. Love the cluster kits. It is a great little jumping off point for pages. So there's the cluster kits. Here is the notebook sets. I've got one open already to show you the look. So you've got your two size notebooks again. These are fun to make like their own little mini book in them. And the best part about these is they're usually less than nine bucks. See if they didn't raise the price. Nope, $8.29. $8. $8. That is it. The six by eight paper pack. Look how pretty those are. They're always a little bit different than your 12 by 12s. That way they can be a standalone sheet for you, not just a shrunk down version. Ephemera. The great ephemera in here. I really love some of those like little background layering pieces. Chipboard words. This is always one of the first ones that goes just because they match so many different things. All of them do. But you've got things like free spirit, loved, adored, lovely memories, best ever family, photographs together, and then all these great little square ones over here. We've got our washi stickers again. We've got the postage tape washi. And check out the mini book. Look at this. Um, this is our life, glimpse in time, time captured, delight in life. I mean, if you have parents that are getting ready to celebrate a big anniversary, like, you know, 50, 60 years, how beautiful would this be? Love this memory, sweet moments. So, so pretty for those. Let me show you what you've got in here. So in here, look at the box too. I always say the box is part of the presentation with this one. The box is beautiful. You've got your little inside there, so pretty, all your bits and pieces. You've got your washi in there too. 
all your die cuts, your papers. Such a great little kit. I know I did the summer one, loved the summer one. We've got um, summer, the sunburst, we've got Christmas, and then now the Moonlit Garden. Got a mini book. So those are in. They also did, kind of redid their little um, page, 12 by 12 page holders. These don't have the little Velcro tab on them. It's kind of got more of a slide in tab, which is nice because sometimes the Velcro doesn't line up if you overfill it. But they've got three in a pack in these for $7.79. So great deal there. All right, and then the rest of my order here. So jumping in back with some Christmas fun stuff. These are cute little, um, just like little snowmen tags. A little to and from on there. They are $3.29, and you've got one. I think you've got 12 in here. Let's see here. It doesn't say anywhere. Nope. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe 10. 10 to 12 in there. There's this one here. That's the little snowman, or sorry, the little Santa coat tags. Stinking cute as well restock on our two of the snowman gift tags you've got it restock on our pretty kitty collection kit from doodlebug restock just on some card stock this one here is called yukon gold it is great for our area schools that kind of do that um vintage gold look to them it's a basil color I'm trying to get that off so I don't have the glare there that's just a really pretty one we also got in some of these cute little Bella Pops. These are little pumpkins. They're called Pumpkin Patch. But you've got four little pumpkins. It looks a little detail on them. They've got a nice little epoxy coating on them too. Those came in. We also got in some fun fall sprinkles. Look at these. A great little cup of sprinkles. It says, Welcome Fall. And you've got, you've got little mushrooms in there. We've got sunflowers. We've got a couple different kinds of leaves in there too. You've got some of those cute little just regular sprinkles in there. So if I shake it, might be everything that's in there and then in different sizes. So fun little set of shakers there. Welcome fall shakers. I wanna jump over those for a second. And then I know I had posted these a while back and we did a bunch of pre-orders on them. So this is a card kit. It's going to make 10 cards and it's got envelopes as well. And it's more of a religious themed with these. This is from Bella Boulevard. It's called Let Us Adore Him Card Kit. We've got uh, Prince of Peace, Joy to the World, O Come All Ye Faithful, Joyful and Triumphant, A King is Born. But you can see all the cute little cards this one is going to make. What you're gonna to need to provide on your own is gonna be a trimmer, scissors, adhesive, and foam adhesive. But look at everything you get in here. You've got all this great paper, envelopes, die cuts. Look at all the little Bella Pops in there as well. So those aren't just regular stickers. Those are those stinking adorable 3D stickers. Oh, they're, they're, they're a little bit out better in the next one, so I don't have to fight. But like the little donkey, the little Mary and baby Jesus. But look at the great little Bella Pops that you get in there. What a fun, fun set that is. And then they also did a page kit. So again, it's the Let Us Adore Him page kit. It's going to make four scrapbook pages and it's got in there those beautiful die cut page pieces. So this is like, it's not just a regular page kit. I mean, this is definitely an oomped up page kit with all these great little die cut pieces in there. And again, you've got a little package here. Look at the little enamels in there. Uh, let's see here. And then let me see if I can show you. You've got a whole thing of chipboard in here. 
I want to find one of those die cut sheets so you can see how stinking cool those are. Do, 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 maybe, maybe. And of course, it's all stuck together. Ah, here we go. Look at that right there. So you've got one of those great little laser cut sheets as well. You've got instructions in here too. So this is definitely a great little kit right there. So that is the page kit. And then finally, I kept going around it. I kept avoiding it. Here is the Lisa Horton inks. So super, super cool. So the one that I opened up is called Sapphire and Gold. Um, so it, think of it almost like it's a colored ink and then it has something like a shimmer embedded in it. When you open it up, it's got a really nice juicy sponge pad and it's kind of hard to see it on my phone, but you can almost, can you almost see a little bit of that sheen on the pad itself? I don't know how they do it, but it's like two different colors in there at the same time. And then what I did is I played around with it on white and on black. So here it is on black after it is dried even. So it even changed a little bit more after it dried. So pretty. And as you can see, I'm getting more of that gold on there whenever you put it on the black. Here it is on white. So when I put it on the white, you can see it's blue. So you've got that sapphire color. But as I turn it, see how it shimmers gold? So this was just direct stamp pad on there. This was taking my blending brush to it, and then this was through a stencil. So pretty. Okay, and just so I can, I want to explain. So most of these came in as a special request. So anyone, please request. Just know I don't have them right right now. I did put a little um, blurb on Doodlebug Dish if anybody wanted any, um, and I didn't get a lot of response. So I was, I was a little hesitant to order them. Um, without playing with them myself. But oh my gosh, friends, they are super, super cool. So Monica, we will get you a sapphire, uh, sapphire gold on order, okay? Here it is. I just wanted to see what it would do on a colored one then as well. So I did the same thing. I did ink blending and threw a stencil on this green color. And I can see some blue and I see a lot of gold. Now, of course I did it on green too. So the green absorbs a lot of the blue color, but look how pretty that is. So, so fun. So going through, so this is Sapphire and Gold. Then we've got Magic Garden, which looks like it's green and has a purple shimmer to it. And then we've got the opposite. We've got Lavender Fields. So it's purple with a green shimmer to it. So that tells me that on black, I'm probably gonna see the green. And again, with this one here, Magic Garden on black, I'm gonna see probably more of the purple. Pumpkin Spice, look how fun Pumpkin Spice is. Pumpkin Spice is gonna be orange with a purple sheen. So again, on the black, you're probably gonna see more of the purple. Then we've got Summer Garden, which is green with a blue shimmer, kind of the opposite of what we've got Kind of, because this one's gold. It's not really green, though. So Summer Garden. Royal Truffle. I think this one's going to look super cool, too. So you've got uh, brown with a blue shimmer. Sweet Treat is going to be um, kind of this yellow. But look how it, it must have a little bit more variation in this one, too. And it goes to a pink shimmer. And then Milk Chocolate Roses. I'm going to open that one up. I think that's one that I ordered extra of. So let me check this one out. And Sweet Treat, you've got it, friend. Let me see if I can get this open one-handed. So you're in there. I'm just going to rip it. Now, I don't have a clean brush, so I'm just going to use my finger. So let's check this one out. I don't want to use this because it has blue on it. I did not wash it. 
Oh, first of all, look how pretty that is. That's just pretty right there. Oh my goodness. All right, let me flip my little scrap over. Do you see that? Look at that. Is that not stinking cool? Look at that bee. And now I have a, a wonderful ink. To, ooh, but look how pretty it is. Look, my fingers even all shimmery. It's shimmering pink. So, so pretty. I'm going to rub it just directly on there, which is a little intensive, but that. So pretty. Oh my gosh, do you see it? Look at that. Oh my gosh, friends, that is beautiful. So let me do, let me make a mess on the black now. Oh my gosh. Yes, look at that on the black. <laughs> okay, these are so cool. I don't know if you guys are feeling it too, but oh my gosh, how cool. Cool is that? Oh my gosh. Oh, love, love, love it. The inks, they are, let's see here. I think they're nine. Yep, they're less than 10. They're $9.79. That's what the inks are. So, so super cool. Love, love, love them. So, definitely, um, like I said, they are a pigment ink. I mean, it says dye in there as well. So, your blue, so that what that tells me is, again, it's a mixture. So that, how to explain this? So the pigment, I bet, is the, the shimmer you're seeing, and then the dye is the blue. That's how you've got the two different layers kind of suspended in there like that. So, so cool. Oh, my gosh. Love, love, love these. These are awesome. So, yes, send me your want list, your wish list. You can look them up online. I did not even order them all. Um, any other colors that you are wanting, I will try and get pictures posted tomorrow of other colors that I can order, and then we'll turn around and we'll put another order in. But how fun is that with the milk chocolate? Milk chocolate roses was the one I did here. So again, whenever you're doing it on a dark color, you know, Debbie, that's a really good question. Um, but I am not for sure. You might want to, hmm, I don't know. I'm going to have to look that up. I don't know if they would need their own set of brushes. Um, the only thing that, even if they didn't, that I'm thinking of is whenever you go, without washing them, whenever you go to pick up your next color, see how that shimmer is still there. So, um, and you read, I'll say, so Becky's on here. These are Becky's. These are for Becky. She read they work better with those little brushes. I bet they do because I bet some of the shimmer probably gets lost in our bigger brushes. That would totally make sense to me that they would get lost in, you know, you wouldn't get as much of the intensity because it might absorb. I'm doing this like this is absorbed because um, it would probably absorb a lot of your ink in those big bristles. And your dye is going to hang out, uh, but you may not, you know, your pigment may get, you know, absorbed in there too much. Um, so, Debbie, I don't know if they would necessarily need their own set, but I think they would probably be best if they didn't to be cleaned afterwards. That way you can get all the shimmer out of them. Um, that's kind of what I'm, I'm thinking because that shimmer is going to carry over onto your other ink pads, which probably would not be ideal. Um, so yes, I, I think that maybe kind of answered your question, but yeah, I don't think we would have to get new ones, but I do think we would need to clean these because of that shimmer embedded in them. Um, and with what Becky is saying that they work better with the smaller brushes. Well, that's kind of good for us because remember I've got, um, those sets from Spellbinders that have the three in there for like four bucks. So that's a much more inexpensive set than doing a whole new set of big, big ones where those are like four or five dollars per brush. So that will kind of help a little bit in, in that regard too 
with those, but yes, very, very cool. And I know with a lot of stuff that I have just seen samples of that Lisa has done, um, you know, she's doing them through like layers. And so sometimes she will just do this as a top accent as well too. So maybe not even the whole flower gets done in this, just some of the highlights do. Um, so definitely, you know, seeing your little brushes there, but it's with my bigger brushes, you know, going through, how pretty is, is that? But you may not get as much um, of an oomph if you did the whole flower in this, whereas you went back and just hit the highlights in this. I don't know. I have to play with them a little bit more to, to check that out too. I'm just kind of thinking out loud here. So, oh my gosh, but um, the little stencil brush is not the blend. Oh, okay. So she has, um, she's got some little, little stencil ones that you're saying works too. So, okay. Perfect. I think that makes sense. So, all right, friends. Well, there are whew, all kinds of fun stuff from today's live. So we started out with Catherine Pooler with new ink colors, tons of great new stamps. Then our Canadian distributor, we got in some super, super cute Katie Sue punch outs. We got in some three quarter design paper pads. Um, and then we also got in from them, our Lisa Horton inks love those and then from our regular our u.s warehouse we got in our brand new 49 and market moonlit garden order which is so pretty very very elegant line so lots and lots of fun stuff today so thank you much for hanging out and joining me as we went through the new stuff um some updates for the store for this week so i have a funeral on friday um, so I won't be here on Friday because it's out of town. And so Leslie is scheduled anyway, but she can only stay till five. So on Friday, we will be closing at five. I did send out a little email about that. So everyone was made aware of that. And then Saturday, I'll be back in here though. So like I said, it's just um, that way we don't have to rush back for me to close the store. Saturday, I will be back in here from 10 to three. What else is going on? I did um, check the calendar for on the website for November and December. I posted um, some for Rita's classes with her Copic coloring is on there. That's going to be November 25th. And then I also put on there the December late night crop weekend. I think it's like 8th, 9th, 10th, or 9, 10, 11, whatever that weekend is. So we've got our late night crop that weekend. Facebook would, would not let me post any events today. My events won't publish. So I could not put them on Facebook events yet, but um, those are on there. And then a oh, cookie class too. So I also did November's cookie class. So November's cookie class, it's going to be the week of Thanksgiving, but it's going to be on that Monday. Okay. So that first of that week, I think that might be the 20th. Um, but it's a Monday evening. We're going to do that, which I thought was perfect in time for um, Thanksgiving to where you can make some super cute cookies and show off those cookies at Thanksgiving dinner. That would be super, super fun. So I just put that class on there as well today. So all kinds of fun stuff going on around here today. Hopefully you guys found something that you liked in the live or you learned a little bit something if you didn't, but start your wish list for sure of things you want to check out the next time you're in. And if you can't make it in, you can always shop us online at www.thedoodlebuginc. That's I-N-C dot com. Um, if you are wanting free shipping, we ship free at 70. We will also bank or hold your order as well until you get there. So you can um, you can do it as a pickup order and you can put in the notes, hey, hold this until next order, until I hit free shipping. Whatever works for you works for us as well. And until next time, I am Hannah, friends. I will see you hopefully tomorrow with more great goodies, but whew. We got a lot we got to put away tomorrow. So I don't know what is coming in tomorrow. Um, we got everything checked in. So we are caught up, friends. So we'll see what comes in tomorrow. And um, for sure, we're going to be restocking some shelves for you guys the next time you check us out. Okay. Have a great evening. Bye.